Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another kind of what I do with my acrylic pore skins. These are the kind of three I've been thinking about using within this composition. This one just for directional and because it's kind of got this really nice goldy and red kind of colour going for it. This one because it looks really cool to be honest. And then the white strip just for balance and kind of giving it a sense of depth. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mess around with this and see where I want it. I could actually rip a bit off. Actually, do I want it like this? That'd be nice actually. As I said before, I'm using my PV glue. Okay. What I do with this, I just put a little bit on underneath and stick it down, and then it should stay. That part should stay in place, and then it'd be easier to then stick on all of it rather than just gluing all of it at the same time. Mm. I'll cut that bit off whilst my head and find my scalpel. <laughs> my um, broken scalpel. I was very lucky actually. Um, it broke and then flicked up and it hit me whilst I was wearing my glasses, right in like the glass lens. Like, just incredibly lucky. I could have lost an eye or something. So make sure you wear protection, kids. <laughs> This part I just literally, literally put it back in the box for it to be used for another pour. For um, all my ink pores, I actually don't do this for every single one because sometimes they actually work by themselves really, really well. It's just ones that kind of look flat and like kind of deflated. Um, I end up putting acrylic skins on top of just to make them a bit more interesting. That's quite nice actually. Kind of got that gap. Mm. quickest I've ever like decided on where I want to place acrylic skin. As you can tell the paper is a bit, bit warped as well but that can be easily remedied by um, if you're just sticking it between two bits of paper and putting a weight on top. It won't completely make it flat but it'll definitely improve it because I have an idea to have like nine of these kind of sizes or even a little bit smaller and put them into a frame with a piece of a mount board in with nine obviously square bits so you can see the little artworks in and then um, I got the idea from this show called Size Matters is actually a show that I'm 
in right now. It's up until the 9th of June in Bath at 96 Walcott Street, if any of you are interesting, interested or live in the area. If not, there will be loads of pictures on Instagram and um, social media if you can't make it. And obviously I do have a video up on my channel of that specific exhibition because we're in like an old townhouse that has like many many rooms there's like a real weird creepy basement but we're literally on the first floor on the left and there's like another one on the same floor called the shrine and there's three others more three others more three others upstairs they're pretty cool they're definitely out there in terms of artworks but they're just a little promotional thing The reason why I started um, cutting before placing another part down is because it may look good with it all extending out but as soon as you cut it down and you've stuck everything down as well you go, oh, maybe the composition doesn't actually work by itself. <laughs> and it just saves time because then you don't have to take anything off. This has got to go somewhere. I feel like there would be good because then it kind of gives a bit of dimension to the drawing. This one is a hectagon, if you know, if you realised. That's why it's kind of an odd shape. The way, to be honest, I never really noticed a lot. <laughs> Just kind of picked it up and went, oh, this one needs to be improved a bit. And this is what is what. That is what is what, that is what is happening. Some parts of the um, credit pores are a little bit thin, so it's not having a very positive effect with the PVA. Okay, I think with that piece, because it was very, very thin acrylic skin, I'll leave it wet and wait for it to dry before actually cutting it off around the sides but yeah nice and quick and simple i was gonna say quick and simple then but actually it's eight minute video so um i think i'll leave it here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it insightful comment down below any suggestions you have or anything you want to see on my channel i'm very very up to it uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed like this video if you well it liked it simple isn't it great and take care of yourself and i shall see you guys next time bye